Good evening, my friend. I'm pleased to meet you, Katsuki Kojo. No, Kalate Blood, my beloved fourth progenitor. That familiar. Regulus Aram, correct? Sure. It's the fifth familiar of Kalate Blood of Rora Floristina. Are you familiar with the name Christoph Gardos? He's a former soldier from the Warlord's Dominion. Now a terrorist who's made a bit of a name for himself in Europe. He's a radical leader of the Black Death Emperor faction. During their occupation of the Prague National Theater, he was responsible for over 400 casualties. Surely you're not implying that Kojo will take care of Gardos for me? I believe my familiars are more obedient than those of the Fourth Progenitor. Get your hands off Yukina, Akatsuki Kojo! Yukina! Yukina, Yukina, Yukina! It's been a while. How have you been? That is my current job. I came here as an observer to Lord Ardell. I sent it at his request to bring you two here. How cruel it was of the Lion King organization to force you into observing the fourth progenitor while I was away. A war dancer specializes in hexes and assassination. It is my job to eliminate anyone tailing Yukina. If you get the picture, you'd best stop following her around. That much should be obvious. The Black Death Emperor faction is a Therian Throp supremacist group. They seek to have the Sacred Treaty revoked and wrest control of the Warlord's domain from the First Progenitor. Their first step toward that goal is to incite trouble here in the Demon District, in order to demonstrate that the faction is still alive. Standard practice for terrorists. Aiba Asagi, I have a job for you. Do as I say and you won't be harmed. You have my word that you will be released upon completion. My name is Christoph Gardos, former soldier of the Warlord's Dominion and now a revolutionary activist. A terrorist, in other words. Do you know what this is? This is the first of 54 stone tablets, the one you deciphered. The words to start it all, Nala Caveras activation commands, are written here. I don't know how an immortal vampire thinks. He probably did it to stave off boredom. A weapon of the gods that can defeat a progenitor would make an ideal playmate for a vampire with too much time on his hands. It's the perfect cure for boredom. Uh, hi. That would be me. I'm Kanasi Cannon. This is all my fault. Sorry for the trouble. Yes, she was always helping me out. I'm a shy person, and guys tend to avoid me. She helped me today, too. My real father was a foreigner to this country. I grew up in Japan, though, so I don't remember him all that well. That's good. I was... a little worried, though. I can't look after them all. Like this forever. Such a shame. Man, I'm beat. These clothes make my shoulders all stiff. Hey, doctor. So how's our artificial angel doing? I heard that mask of hers was shattered in the fight. He had a sword shaman from the Lion King organization with him. Whether he's the real deal or not, <laughs> this will be the ideal goal finish for our new product. <sighs> That's that then. Oh, right. I'm told that Leifola was washed up on the same island. <laughs> Fitting, don't you think? Now there's no need to hesitate in using XDA-7, Kanase Cannon to her limits. Anyway, now that you know the story, I'll tell you what we want. First, Princess of Aldigir, stop resisting and surrender to us. Do that, and we'll let you live. Well, we'll make you feel so good, you'll wish you were dead. And I'll give you, too, a special chance. <laughs> yeah, you know... This company's financial condition is in real trouble. So we had no choice but to develop Battle Automata in order to fit our status quo. But their sales were lousy too. That's why we wagered the company's fortune on artificial angels as weapons. Over already! For the most powerful vampire in the world, that was way too quick. There's no problem. From the moment she attained level 7 status, I predicted that the blinker, her TCS, would be rendered ineffective. She may be artificial, but she's a messenger of God. Once an angel foe of this level has been unleashed, 
She is a natural disaster. Controlling her like a tool is unthinkable. No need to worry. Just think of her as a type of bomb. An awakened angel foe fights enemies as her instincts dictate. Once completed her duty, she achieves ascension, literally. I told you, I'm Lafolia Ryavane. I'm the eldest daughter of King Lucas Ryavane of Aldegar, which makes me the princess of Aldegar. A man called Kanase Kenze of the Magus Craft was a royal court mage serving at the palace of Aldegar. As such, many of the magical techniques he knows require one of the royal blood as a spirit medium. I suspect that's why he's after me. Her existence was recently discovered, and the royal palace is currently in chaos. At any rate, I couldn't simply ignore her, especially after I found out that she was adopted by Kanase Kenze as his daughter. Which you call the angel foe ritual is in practice just poisoning people by taking the spiritual center from an enemy and putting it in her body. <laughs> I'm Tokyo Giyuma. Nice to meet you. Hey, that's rude of you. I think I'm a lot more girly now. Well, sorry if it's only a little. You don't seem to have changed much yourself, though. This sure takes me back. You used to get hurt all the time. Probably the reason I carry around a first aid kit was because of it. Hmm? Oh, this? Which costume? I wanted to wear it tomorrow, so I was trying it on. You think I look weird in an outfit like this? <laughs> I'm glad. You haven't changed at all since then, so I thought you didn't even see me as a girl. 